Yes, I'm once again out on my board for the Devo today, and it's because I have another metaphor for faith that I find, find out here on the water. Uh, some of you have asked, who aren't stand-up paddleboarders, how do you keep your balance? What is the key? Well, I gotta tell you, it's, it's second nature now, but when my friends Andy Whitman and Rick Ducart first taught me how to stand-up paddleboard, they gave me the key, and it's this, you keep looking up. You have to look up at the horizon or you'll fall. If you look back at the waves, if you look at your feet, if you are even thinking of balancing like I am right now, you will fall. The key is to actually not overthink it, but to look at something as far away from you and in front of you as you can. And then before you know it, you're moving forward with ease, you're keeping in balance, and only after I mastered that did Andy and Rick give me more specific instruction. And you know what? That's good spiritual advice too. Keep looking up at something further ahead of you, far beyond you, and you'll retain your balance. In the book of Ephesians, which we're studying in church in the weekend services, the Apostle Paul goes for a full half of the book before he gives any instructions, uh, nothing on how to live, how to act, what to do, how to behave, no commands, no coaching. All he's been doing for three whole chapters is directing their gaze to the horizon, to what's beyond them, what's ahead of them, who God is, his mystery, his majesty, and especially his amazing, amazing grace for all of us. The Apostle prays, as we saw last weekend, for that big picture to soak in. And even after all of that, only after all of that, does he get specific with his, his instructions on how to live, right? So often in church, I think, we, uh, we get this reversed. We start by trying to correct behavior. And maybe once we, uh, we do that, we get to theology, maybe, who God is, that God is amazing. But you know what, that order doesn't really work. You start with awe, you start with wonder, you start with gazing toward the horizon. Like Paul says in Ephesians 3, 18 and 19, I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with the full measure of all the fullness of God. And then he finally gets to command starting in chapter four. That's how it happens. You keep looking up. So today, facing worries, facing tasks, facing chores, facing deadlines, facing headlines, and you're trying to keep your balance, don't just look at the waves. Don't just look at what, what, what's beneath you. Keep looking up. Stand in awe of God and you will keep your balance and you will keep moving forward just like a stand-up. God bless you. Have a great day.